Hi, and welcome to another presentation from Your Business Tutor. Learning your way, anytime, anywhere. Lots of factors can influence the success or failure of a business. However, one of the biggest is stakeholders. And this is what this and the following series of presentations are on. So let's turn to the first part of this series and look at stakeholders' interests. So what are we going to learn today? Well, first of all, we're going to find out what a stakeholder is. After that, we're going to explore the interests that different stakeholders have in an organisation. So what is a stakeholder? A stakeholder is an individual, group or organisation that has an interest in the success of an organisation. This is an important point because before we turn to look at what stakeholders a business may have, it is essential that we identify an organisation that is not a stakeholder and that is a competitor. A competitor is not a stakeholder because it is not interested in the success of a business. Instead, it is far more interested in a business failing or at least doing badly. So now that we've identified what a stakeholder isn't, we should now look at what stakeholders a business may have. However, before doing that, we need to explain that there are two main types of stakeholder, internal stakeholders and external stakeholders. So what's the difference? Well, internal stakeholders are inside or are part of an organisation and would include groups such as managers, employees, shareholders and the business owner. Whereas external stakeholders are located outside of the organisation and are not directly part of the business. As such, external stakeholders would include customers, the government, suppliers, local community, pressure groups and banks. So now that we've identified what a stakeholder is, we can now move on to explore why stakeholders are so influential in business. And to do that, we need to first look at what stakeholders are interested in. To answer that, we need to first identify what stakeholder interest is. Put simply, stakeholder interest is what a stakeholder wants to achieve, receive or obtain from an organisation. Now this definition in itself isn't completely clear. So to help, let's put a bit of flesh in the bone and look at what specific stakeholders are interested in getting from a business. The first stakeholder we'll look at is the owners of the business, such as a sole trader or a partner. As we have explored previously when looking at objectives, their interest, especially when their business is new or small, is that their business survives. This is because the owner or the entrepreneur may have invested a considerable amount of their own money into their business, which they could lose should their business fail. Owners of a business are also interested in their business making a profit, because profit is the reward they earn for the risk they've taken and the hard work and effort they've put in to starting their business. Finally, Owners will also be interested in their business growing in size because usually as a business grows in size it becomes more profitable but also more financially secure meaning it is less likely to fail. However, as well as sole traders and partners, shareholders who are the owners of a company also have particular interests. For example, they will also want the business to make a high profit because then they will receive a high dividend, which is the reward they earn for investing in the company. They will also want the business to grow and be successful because then the share price will rise and their investment will be worth more. However, what they are also interested in is that the company is well run. Remember, shareholders appoint directors to run the business for them. As such, shareholders will want the business to be well run because if it is, the business will grow, profits will increase and the share price will rise. Let's now turn to our second stakeholder, which is employees. They are interested in obtaining two main things from an organisation. They are 
high wages and job security. They will want job security and a good wage because this will give them the money they need to pay their household bills, such as their mortgage or rent, gas and electricity, as well as their groceries. However, most employees will also want a high wage so that they can pay their bills, but also have enough left over for luxuries like going to the cinema, going out for a meal or going on holiday. A third internal stakeholder would be managers or directors, and they are interested in a business doing well. This is because if the business is doing well, the owners or shareholders will be happy with their performance. And as such, just like employees, they will have job security and higher pay. But managers and directors, as you'll remember from the objectives presentation, also want to achieve managerial objectives and therefore may be interested in whether the business can help them achieve their own ambitions, such as having more power in the organisation by being promoted to a senior position. Moving on to the interests of external stakeholders, let's first have a look at customers. Customers are interested in a business offering quality products that are good value for money. This is because customers will want to buy products that do what they're meant to do. For example, taste great, look cool and don't break. But more than that, they'll want them to be reasonably priced so that they can afford them. Suppliers, on the other hand, are interested in receiving orders from the business and being paid on time. They want to receive orders as this is the lifeblood of their business. As without orders, a business would sell nothing and would fail. However, more than that, they'll want a reasonable price for their inventory so that they can make a profit. But more than that, they'll want paid on time. This is vital because if they were paid late, they may not have enough cash to pay their own bills on time. This means they would be at higher risk of becoming illiquid and eventually bankrupt. Our third external stakeholder is the government and they are interested in the business paying its taxes and creating jobs. They want a business to pay taxes because this is how the government finances its activities. For example, without tax revenue, the government wouldn't be able to afford to pay for things like hospitals and schools. But also, they want a business to create jobs because governments are often judged on how many people have jobs in a country. But also, if people are working, there are less demands on the welfare state. Fewer people will need to claim out-of-work benefits, meaning more money can be spent on other priorities, such as health, education and social care. However, we also need to remember that the government are responsible for public sector organisations. As a consequence, they will be interested in organisations such as the police, army and the fire service providing an efficient and high quality service. This is because the government is often judged by the general public on how well those organisations are run. Moreover, given the government only has limited tax revenue to spend on public services, it will also want hospitals, schools and the police to be run efficiently. A fourth external stakeholder is the local community and they are interested in a business creating jobs and acting ethically. They will want them to create jobs as this creates opportunity in the local area and if people are working it will make an area more economically strong. However, as much as the local community want a business to create jobs, they will also be interested in the business treating the local area ethically. Put simply, they won't want the business to damage the local environment by polluting it or creating too much traffic congestion. Having said that, this needs to be balanced against the local community's desire for the organisation to provide services locally. 
For example, local communities in rural areas will want services such as hospitals, banking and post services available nearby. Another external stakeholder who has an interest in a business is a pressure group. Usually such organisations are concerned by how a business treats the local area. For example, are they causing pollution? However, they would also be interested in whether the business is willing to support their cause. For example, by giving them some funding. Our final stakeholder that has an interest in a business is their bank. As you would expect, this is because they have lent money to the business in order to help it grow. This means they will be interested in how well the business is doing. Because if it is making a profit, it will be able to repay the loan. However, a bank will also be interested in what assets a business has, as these will often be used as security for a loan. This is important to a bank, because if a business were to fail, the bank can sell the assets it took as security in order to get its money back. So what did we learn in today's presentation? Well, first of all, we identified what a stakeholder was. And after that, we identified the interests that different stakeholders have in organisations.